What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the latest version of the GameHub emulator version 4. And guys, it's actually insane. The UI has been completely redesigned. It literally feels like you're using a PS4 or PS5 interface right on your Android phone. And when you start gaming, it's got that whole Steam Deck vibe, smooth gameplay, better optimization. It just hits different now. Let's break down everything new in this update. So let's get started. And for this test, the phone I'm using right now, you got it. The Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, has the Adreno 740 GPU and comes with 12 gigs of RAM. Anyways, let's close everything and open the GameHub emulator. And here you can see it now has a completely brand new UI. Just log in with your account. If you've already installed it, you can update it directly. All right, guys, as you can see, the UI has been completely redesigned. You can explore all the game titles categorized pretty well. And this is 4.1 latest version. Let's go to my screen. It literally feels like you're using a PS4 or PS5. You can feel the UI animations around the icons on the main interface. As usual, we have the PC emulator, which allows you to import local Windows games, view your game library, use PC Link for remote play on your phone, PS Link, and Steam support. You can sign into your Steam account to access your games. You can also import your favorite mobile games into the library. And here we have the emulator settings. To be honest, the UI feels super smooth and looks insane. You can customize your GPU drivers, DXVK, firmware, and other stuff here. Anyways, now let's import our PC games. I've already copied them straight from my PC to this device, including the game data. Here, select the executable game file. Okay, it's detected, now confirm. The process is the same as usual. The required drivers get downloaded automatically, or you can manually configure them later. Let's also import another game Watch Dogs 2, one of my favorite titles. Yeah, same process, just import the game's executable file. All right, after everything is set, let's go to its details. You can also check the compatibility to see whether your device is supported or not. Here, the recommended specs for GTA 5 mention Snapdragon 865 or above for better performance and this phone is already powerful enough to handle it. Now let's go to its settings. Same as usual, like we did in our recent videos. These are the recommended settings and also set the VRAM limit to four gigs. Everything else will be the same. This emulator is also compatible with controller support. Now let's load the game. The menu is the same, let's set it to full screen. Also, enable super resolution for better visual quality. You can also turn off the data or Wi-Fi, it works normally. As you can see, we're getting better, stable performance. You can also monitor the FPS. And of course, this is the first mission level, but in real world gameplay, it's completely different. On average, you'll get around 40 to 50 FPS. It all depends on the settings you've configured and the use of well-optimized drivers. Right now, this is running on the DirectX 11 preset. If we lower it to DirectX 10, we'll get even more FPS. Anyways, now let's go to Watch Dogs 2. Here, I'll lower the resolution to 540p. In compatibility settings, I'll leave everything at default and also set VRAM limit to 4 gigs. The phone is already starting to heat up a bit. In the in-game settings, set everything to the low preset. All right, and there we go. We're on the first mission.
To be honest, it looks quite stable compared to the previous update. They have fixed a lot of issues bugs as well. And that's all for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed checking out the new Game Hub Fusion 4.1 update. If you found this helpful, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace out.